Well, it's our last day of Quiltmas, so I had to save the best for last, or probably the project that has been drawn out the longest for last. Today we're going to quilt the B Block Sampler quilt. So I've got my quilt top here, all pieced and ready, and I've got my backing. I decided, I decided to go with grunge because everything else in this quilt is either grunge or Kona white. I thought about doing minky, but I just felt with this quilt, it needed to be grudge. I've got the turquoise 108 wide back that I've got to iron some creases out of because it came straight off the bolt. And at the same time, I went ahead and I got the regular 45 wide for my binding, which is also gonna happen in this video. And so backing, quilt top. I got the request loft of batting. It's the thinnest loft of Quilter's Dream. It's just what I grabbed. I've used both request and select, which is their mid loft. Instead of going off the bolt, I grabbed a double plus size. So it's 96 by 93. I'm obviously going to trim it down and have some scrap off to one side. But in the end, it's all going to get done. So I'm going to get that ironed out and then I'll start pinning on my quilt back. Everything is basted in. I've got white thread on top. I was gonna do a darker thread on the bottom, but it pulled through a little too much. My knowing eyes could see it just because of the contrast of color. So I've got white thread on top, white thread on my bobbin, which is gonna show on the teal, but that's okay. And we're gonna go with this Cool Beans pantograph. I wanted something a little modern. At first I was thinking loopy, but I think this is the good middle ground. So I'm gonna get this started and then we'll check back in later. So I had some thread breakage in my first row that was a little frustrating, but this row went so smoothly and I'm super happy with this design. It's going to look so good when it's all done. The last zone is quilted and well, it may be after 10 o'clock tonight. So I'm gonna leave this on the frame because I have a little batting eater that lives with me. So it's gonna stay on the frame and I will trim it up tomorrow.
Binding is done. Apparently, we've got a kitty cave. Bye, Trixie. Bye, Trixie. Well, this journey began way back in spring, and now we've made it to the end. The end of Quiltmas, the end of 2022 quilts, and to top it all off and put that pretty bow on it, the B-Block sampler quilt is done. This quilt is much bigger than I imagined it to be. I don't know why I thought it was just going to be like some little lap thing. It's like 72 by 80 something, so it's a big quilt. And Marty keeps telling me how springtimey it looks, which it totally does with the color of the grunge and everything, and the white background. So this will be a nice switch out from my bright and colorful Christmas quilt to my bright and colorful springy time quilt. So I've enjoyed doing all these little blocks. It's kind of been fun to try a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and then see how it all comes together since obviously this wasn't pieced and just rose across. It was a chunk here, a chunk there, and flying geese here and some flying geese there. So that was doing a sampler quilt was a new experience for me. And so that was really fun. And I've learned some of these blocks that I really like, some of them that I really don't care for and how to fit colors together. One thing I do wish is that it had like an overall, I'm sure there's like a coloring page you can get for it and figure out, okay, if I do this color here and this color there, where's it going to go next? So had I known what colors were going where in the end or paid more attention to that, I probably would have shuffled things around a little bit more. But in the end, I don't really feel like too many things got clumped together, which is awesome. On this quilt, I also did, instead of a two and a half inch binding or a two inch binding, I decided to try a two and a quarter inch binding just to see how it looked. And I think it looks pretty good. Nice and kind of skinny, but not too fat. I also, like I said before, I did the Moda Grunge 108 wide back in, and the binding in the same turquoise. This one's the 108, this one's the 44, so it's a little bit different color. Obviously, it's a little bit different texture, too. The 108 wide backs do have a different feel to them. Not that I feel like it's any cheaper or anything, it's just a different way of the fabrics woven and stuff. And so, still good quality, still awesome grunge, and all sorts of fun. My only complaint that I really have to file is with Guterman thread. It just kept breaking on me. I don't know. I don't use Guterman usually. So I grabbed this spool one because it was the right shade of turquoise and it wasn't a big spool because that's all I needed it for was just to sew my binding on. And it kept breaking it on me like four or five times, both when I was sewing the binding to the quilt and then four or five times again when I was sewing the binding to the top of the quilt to finish it off. So I have to say a little bit of grumblings were happening, but such is life when you sew it. 10, 11 o'clock at night on very low sleep. So take that lesson from me. Don't sew on low sleep, um, especially if you're on a deadline. So other than that, I'm excited. This is all done. And with a finished quilt means finished quilt photos. So let's take a look at those and I'll see you back next time.